bull up effect refers to basically that idea that once there's a constraint within supply or demand overall, people tend to, to you know, pull together inward and they don't want to do much. They get really, really conservative. But then there can be this sudden spur of demand. And we've seen that. I think, you know, look at all the headlines today of, you know, there's no cars to buy on the on the car lots because people went out and bought trucks because they weren't traveling anywhere. Or, yep. um, you know, I've heard that RV shows were empty because everybody needed more space in their house with the pandemic and went out and bought RVs and they thought this is a great idea. We'll see about that one. But, uh, you know, it's it's that kind of thing. But the bullwhip then is you're constrained with your supply and your demand for a longer period of time than you ever expected. And it extends way into the supply chain as a whole. So what are some of the ways you're talking about client with, with clients to try to you know get their arms around that? Once demand comes back, normally you're still under some sort of constraint, whether it's supply or even labor. You know, with, with COVID, full shifts are not being allowed back into plants in a lot of cases. So any amount of downtime that you might have in those situations is absolutely compounded in its impact and its negativity overall. So how do you reduce downtime? What are the effects that go into downtime? That's that's kind of one of the main pieces we look at. Another thing is when you're making something, let's make sure it's the right thing. So quality, um, you know, reducing the defects, improving the center line overall so that there is little waste and little scrap because all those resources are precious to both people and, and the raw materials coming into it. Um, we've had customers that we've been able to work with to unlock hidden capacity that they didn't think they had, so efficiency overall. 